Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to calculate Newton's second law, the law of acceleration. We're looking at practice problems set one. So let's take a look at what you have on this worksheet. So first we have our math triangle. So for Newton's second law, this is force equals mass times acceleration. Okay, so you can put a multiply sign between the mass and the acceleration. You can put a divided by sign between the force and the acceleration. And you can put a divided by sign between the force and the mass. So that will help you when we get to all of these types of calculations. Okay, so first F is for force. And the force is measured in Newtons. Newtons is represented by the capital letter N. M stands for the mass. Mass is measured in kilograms. Which is kg. And then A is acceleration. which is measured in meters per second squared. Okay, so for our other calculations that we were doing, when we were calculating acceleration, it could be in different units. But when we're calculating Newton's second law, it's very important that the units are in kilograms for mass and that the acceleration is in meters per second squared. If it's in any else you're gonna to have to convert it before you can do any of your calculations otherwise this is not going to work properly okay and then another thing we need to know for Newton's second law is um, Earth's gravity okay, gravity is a type of acceleration if you are falling out of a plane you start at zero meters per second and as you fall you get faster and faster every second that you fall you pick up your speed by 9.8 meters per second. Okay, um, because this is getting faster, notice that gravity here is going to be a positive value. Some physics teachers teach that it's negative because of the direction, but the way we have been learning about acceleration and deceleration, we're going to keep this as a positive number because it is accelerating. Okay, okay, so let's look at Part one, part one for this is finding force. So we're using force. The formula for part one is force equals mass times acceleration. Okay. So for example one, it says a 0.5 kilogram toy boat is pushed across the water with an acceleration of three meters per second squared. What is the force exerted on the toy boat to make it move? So we are looking for the force. The mass is in kilograms, so that's 0 0.5 kilograms. And the acceleration is 3.0 meters per second squared. Okay, so over here, we're gonna show our work. So I'm gonna take these numbers, plug it into our formula. So force is what we're looking for. The mass is 0 0.5, and we're gonna multiply that by 3.0, okay? So you can either use an X to represent multiplication, you can use a dot to represent multiplication, or you can put it in parentheses. So whichever way uh, your math teacher teaches you is probably the best way to represent this formula. Okay, um, so now we're gonna multiply this together to get our answer. So 0 0.5 times three is gonna give us 1.5. And because we are looking for the force, force is measured in Newtons. So the unit here is gonna be in. You can either write in or you can write the full word out. That's up to you. Okay, so let's look at one more example for how to find force. Let's look at problem number one. It says a 55 kilogram watermelon 
is pushed across the table with an acceleration of 4.4 meters per second squared. What is the force exerted on the watermelon? So again, we're looking for the force. The mass is in kilograms, so we know this is the mass, 5.5 kilograms. And the acceleration is 4.4 meters per second squared. Again, we're using the basic formula for Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. Next, we're going to take our numbers, plug it into our formula so we can show our work. So force equals 5.5 times 4.4. So when we put this into our calculator, 5.5 times 4.4, you should get 24.2. And again, we're looking for force. Force is in newtons, so the units will be in newtons. Okay? All right, you could round this to 24 if you're looking at significant digits, since this only has two, this has two. This technically should only be 24, but that's up to you. You can leave it at 24.2. Okay, so questions two and three are finding force. We'll move on to the next video on how to find weight. I hope that helped you understand a little bit more about Newton's second law and how to calculate that. You can click through to the next video uh, to figure out how to calculate weight.